The Nigerian army has blamed congestion, absence of CCTV cameras and other essential facilities as largely responsible for the Kujie jailbreak on July 5, 2022. This revelation came at a probe instituted by the House of Representatives Joint Committees on Reformatory Institutions, Justice, Police Affairs, Interior and Human Rights in Abuja on Wednesday. The committee is investigating the whereabouts of inmates who escaped from Kujie Correction Center and the issues of congestion experienced in mostly all the correctional services across the country. Major Peter Ogumbuinya, the Assistant Director of Commercial Law, Directorate of Legal Services, who made this accession, says the Army is still investigating his men who were on duty during the day of the incident. But he quickly stated that the incident took place during rotation of troops and that the Nigerian army was not the only force on ground on that fateful day. We also observed issues of uh, low fencing and the CCTV camera absence within the general area. Uh, these are some of the things that uh, we observe and uh, we are unable to these things we are unable to be put in place before the incident. And uh, I want to believe that these things would have assisted the guards to know what is happening, uh, possibly to see how these things can be uh, assisted. However, on our own parts, uh, the troops tried their best uh, by returning fire to the uh, Boko Haram terrorists on the arrival. Uh, however, it was very unfortunate that uh, the troop deployed vis a vis the built up of the general area were not sufficient to actually curtail the uh, terrorists that came from different dimensions. And um, it became a challenge because uh, we are deployed in so many uh, IS operations and we could not deploy more to assist the correctional center. However, um, I want to believe that uh, uh, effort has been made to see how we can improve on the security challenge that has been confronting the uh, correctional center. On ways to improve conditions of the 260 correctional centers across the country and to forestall future attacks, stakeholders took time to make useful suggestions that will aid the joint committees in their final recommendation to the House. The Federal Minister of Justice greatly supported the efforts to decentralize the correctional service to allow states establish and manage their own correctional centers. This was achieved through the alteration of the Constitution that moved the correctional service prisons from exclusive list to concurrent list. This is expected to fast track the congestion of the correctional centers nationwide when properly implemented. The Ministry appreciates the effort of the National Assembly, this committee, and this committee with regards to the enactment of the fifth alteration with respect to decentralizing the correctional service, bearing in mind that about 80% of inmates are offenders of state laws. We have, just last year, over 14,000 that have been processed through non-custodial measures. But without funding, it can't help us. My final comment is this. There are three major categories of people who we find in custody. And it's important that we remember it each time we think about these issues. One, those who are innocent, they have no business being there. We must do everything to make them go out. Secondly, the minor offenders. Those minor offenders, we need to find very practical ways, including non-custodial, to deal with them. Thirdly, those who are hiding criminals. And each of these categories, even if it's one day, one, one hour you spend in custody, you will have problem because of socialization into criminal life. And we know it is not only correctional service that have detention facilities. We have 19 institutions in this country that keep people. And yet, we do not have nobody, no agency, no individual, knows the total number of persons who are in custody in Nigeria at a particular time T, except the statistics you have in the Nigerian Correctional Service. We can't plan that way. We can't move forward that way. But I believe there's a lot that we can do. The chairman of the Joint Committee, Honorable Chinedu Oga, Chairman Joint Committees emphasized the importance of correctional service, describing it as the key to Nigeria's security, stating that the committee will do everything to ensure that it meets global best standards with the contribution of stakeholders. I want to find out there is no any sign to 
show that the military men are on duty from our own constitutional mandate on our oversight when we get to that place. Because we saw where the military people stationed their vehicle, where the police stationed their vehicle, and civil defense. And there is no any act of exchanging of bullets or anything. They just went straight and break the Kujia prison, and those inmates escaped. We know what the military can do. But you have told us now that maybe during the time of fashion that your people are not. But if your military people are on duty, what did they do to secure that correction service? We want to know what did they do to secure that correction service? We have so many intelligence in this country. Are you telling us there is no SSS intelligence report? Are you telling us there is no from National Security Advisor report? If there is, why is it that measures are not taken before the occurrence?